All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm just going to draw light to an issue that I've come across with my Apple iPhone SE. And that is, I am getting file corruption with inside the video files, which manifests itself in a number of different ways, depending upon what is playing the file back. So what I'm gonna do quickly is just show us examples of what I'm talking about so we know exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'll kind of discuss it a little bit after I've shown you the examples. So what we're looking at here, is let's see this is VLC so I'm just going to play the clip from here and what we should see is some mosaic patterning happening on that ugly mug on the screen there so here we go there we go so there was some mosaic pattern on my face I'll play that again there we go that mosaic pattern thing one more time in VLC just so we definitely know that we can see this issue occurring so just watch my face there we go, mosaic pattern. Now what I'm gonna do is go to Apple's own QuickTime player, because don't forget, what we're looking at here is a variation of H.264, but Apple's flavor of it, which I will talk about shortly. And if anything is gonna play that file properly, it's definitely gonna be Apple's own media player, which is QuickTime. So here's QuickTime playing the file. There we go, the same mosaic pattern happening in the same part of the, the length of the video, which will actually be the same data, so I'll play it again. There we go, and just one more time. There we go. Now, interestingly, if I go to my NLE and watch it in the NLE, there's, um, there's actually a ton of examples in the NLE, but I'm gonna just like break it down to two. So here is the same thing again here. So this is the same spot that we've just been watching the clip in within QuickTime and VLC. Now, as you can see there, that manifests itself as a complete and utter like dropping of the actual picture. So it goes to a black screen. Let me just watch that again. There we go. And then I'll try that again. Okay. Now, this is another variation of, of the same problem on a different clip uh, shot. I think this might still be H.264, although I'll get into the codex stuff in a minute. I just thought I would show clear examples before I start rabbiting on about stuff. So, there we go, again. Okay, and just one more time. Okay, now I just have to say as well, on this timeline here, there's a number of clips and it, they're actually littered with problems. What it is with this particular video that I'm editing up here, which is another one of my iPhone SE videos. This one's very specifically about using the SE with a gimbal. Now, the thing is here, I've I've actually had to not use some of the takes that I would have preferred here in the bin. And that's because some of them just had far too much um, like you know file degradation or these issues going on within poignant parts of the video. And what I've had to do here during the actual final edit is to like cut around the issue. So it's gotten, it's basically gotten to the point where it's almost now gonna become unusable. And I'll just now show you one last quick thing and I'll show you the file properties here. So what we're looking at here is H.264. And also we are looking at a MOV file. So this is basically H.264 wrapped in a MOV, which is exactly how Apple deal with H.264. All right, so as you've just seen there, then very clear examples of this file like corruption going on. Now, the thing is, this is all being the H.264 stuff. To be honest, uh, that particular edit was all about using the front facing camera as well. And I deliberately shot it in H.264 because there was other issues going on with H.265, which I will cover in another video. But very quickly, the H.265 files, I've, I've had like humongous problems with, and most of that's been to do with reading the files. My edit system that you've just been looking at there is Edius by Grass Valley. It's one of the best NLEs in the world for actual like reading of codecs. There's not really anything else out there that matches it for that. And uh, that's having a ton of problems with some of the stuff coming out of the iPhone. So like I say, I can't say right now all the problems with H.265 because the first time I started using it, I was having too many problems, so I had to drop down to H.264. And also it stopped me from obviously using certain resolutions and frame rates because you have to use H.265 for certain resolutions and frame rates. So immediately the use of H.265 
as it, it, it it's basically stopped me from doing certain things because it's going to be too problematic using it okay so getting back to these issues with the h.264 now as you could see there that was h.264 inside a mov wrapper now what i'm going to surmise here is where we've seen that mosaic patterning going on uh, and and when it manifested itself just as black f like black drop frames as it were when i was playing it in inside edius and also with edius as well edius in fact let me just show you something quickly here so what we're looking at again now is my editing system or my nle which is edius by grass valley so i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to go to system settings now inside here we have a number of options one of them is what do we want to use as a decoder or an importer and such and as we can see here under quicktime i've got quicktime enabled as the importer so basically what's happening here is quicktime is being used with inside edius to decode all the stuff that would be dot mov related so in this instance edius is using quicktime to decode the h.264 with inside that dot mov file so basically we are using well actually <laughs> to, to coin a phrase we are we are comparing apples to apples here <laughs> because we're using apple to decode its own codec okay so i just thought i would point that out really quickly only because i just want people to know that i'm not using obscure decoders here to try and play back you know an apple related file i'm actually playing it back via quicktime in two instances one is quicktime native with inside windows to play the file back and it was mosaicing and then the second one was using quicktime as part of the decoding routine with inside me nle so quicktime in two instances there is actually being used to actually decode apple's own h.264 encoding with inside the mov wrapper okay so basically what i'm seeing there looks like a corruption of the gop sequence for that part of the you know that well for that segment of the video now i'm not entirely sure what are their open and closed gops i don't know what the gop structure like is like or anything with this stuff i've not looked that far into it and to be perfectly honest i'm not going to i mean usually in the past like when i've done stuff to do with film and tv and things like that part of my job is dealing with all that type of stuff but what i've learned over the years is don't start chasing stuff where it's just going to waste all your time and that will waste all my time there's no there's no point chasing this one i'm just going to have to say immediately i'm i'm going to have to ditch apple stop using the stuff i'm going to finish some of the stuff after i've done with the se because i'm already halfway through it now but them particular problems they're happening all the time now this won't just be with the se because what's going to be causing that is going to be one of two things it's either going to be software related encoding issues or hardware now i'm going to surmise here that with inside all the apple phones or all well at least all the modern phones definitely the ones that are going to be doing h.265 as well i'm going to surmise here that apple are using a hardware encoder with inside the chipset of the phone which basically means no matter what is recording so no matter what app is recording the video within the phone it's going to be using apple's technology to actually do the encoding now if other people out there know different and they can tell me that a different app being used to record actually generates its own codex spec and is actually programmed and say the a13 chip or whatever it is whatever chip you're on so if if a you know if a, if a particular app comes with its own codec that utilizes the cpu or gpu inside the phone but uses its own specification for h.264 or h.265 please someone let me know i doubt that i doubt very much that that is the case as far as i'm i'm aware and as far as i'm concerned it's either going to be apple's own spec based in software but highly likely based in hardware now that being the case it would also mean that any third party apps that were going to be used for recording would be would be very limited as to what they can do sure you're going to get camera apps which will give you all kinds of mad kind of manual control for exposure this that and the other but as far as the actual codec is concerned i don't think anything can touch that i think they all have to use what it is that apple had given to them now like you say in the past it would have been my job within like you know the film and tv work that i've done to have actually specced out the codex and if i actually found problems with an ingest codec or an acquisition codec it would have been my job there also to have worked out what that is 
I'm going to surmise there that that's actually something to do with B-frame placement or there's certain types of where that the B-frames are actually going to be related backwards and forwards as well. Because although the, you know, although the B-frame is typically your bi-directional frame with inside that GOP, IBP GOP structure and stuff like that, which is what definitely will be getting used here, whether it's H.264 or H.265, there's a lot more ways that that B-frame can be asked to do stuff and without getting all mad technical about it, that usually is the problem when you see them things occur. Also, it could be open and closed GOP sequencing and stuff like that. I still don't even know, like I said before, I don't know what the GOP structure is or, or basically what the sequence lengths are or anything like that. But like I say, I don't care. I'm not going to waste my time on this one. Uh, only because... I will end up spending days out my life, you know, doing proper, you know, analytical testing and stuff just to find out that nothing's going to change anyway because it's a closed system. And what it is, Apple are notorious for like using stuff out of, you know, out of spec. And I can guarantee you right now, and probably more so their H.265, that'll be totally down to Apple's kind of flavor, as it were. And unfortunately, it will mean that you're going to have certain problems with it elsewhere as well. And I already have had problems with the H.265 stuff. Like I say, as soon as it gets some time, I'll do some more stuff about that as well. But the thing what I'm seeing here probably isn't even to do with the way Apple want to use H.264 with inside the Mov wrapper. That is definitely corruption with inside the recording itself. And like I say, I've seen far too much of it now. I've shot a few hundred clips now with the SE. And um, I think I'm on to something like me, me fifth or sixth video that I'm utilizing the SC with. So there's various things that I'm doing, certain types of microphones, certain this, certain that, certain uses of the SC, all basically to do with vlogging and stuff like that, and like, you know, video recording. Um, and within there, over, the, over across like a few hundred clips, I've seen this problem happen far too many times now. Um, there is one long shot here, and it could be that my particular phone could be damaged or could have a problem. But, you know, the problem with that is, is the phone is acting exactly as it should do in every single other respect. And I doubt very much that it's just my phone that's got this problem. There is always that chance, and of course there is. But usually, especially when you've been involved in IT for like 30 years in various ways, you, you get a taster for these things. And let's put it this way, normally when something like walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's normally a duck. Well, in this instance, there's nothing else going on with the phone that would make me believe that there's a problem with the phone. Although, like I say, there still could be. But, like I say, yeah, this is like really annoying me now because not only are there a number of issues with the with the base camera app with Apple, which I've actually drawn light to in other videos, with the way that it's just doing stupid like color renditioning and stuff like that, and like you know it's going over the top with saturation. There's also exposure issues. There's there's also like focus issues and stuff like that. All this blaring that it does because I still haven't got to the bottom of how much of this computational AI stuff that is actually happening inside video mode i know it happens tons in stills mode but it's still something that i've got to look into a bit further to see what it's doing as far as video is concerned but it would appear to me that apple are just trying to like rewrite too many things and like you know apple are known for like you know kind of you know if you asked apple is the wheel a good design apple would probably go yeah but if it was made by apple it'd be better you know what i mean so apple are one of these companies who really do like to redesign to their own specification and i think they've, they're probably doing far too much of it at the moment as far as i'm concerned to do with what the way that they want those codecs to be programmed and then that will also have a problem with how those codecs are usable outside of the apple ecosphere as well so this is another problem as soon as you start using certain things by apple it has that effect where you've got to stay with inside too many apple things in order to make this work but as you can see there that codec broke up inside QuickTime, so yeah. Anyways, yeah, this could go on into a big mad long rant and stuff, and also I don't want to get overly technical with these things as well because, you know, most of the people that are going to watch this, I would rather just have people just join in and say, look, Dave, I've seen this myself, or people might just turn around and go, look, Dave, there's like a thousand of us here. We've never seen this problem. It's your phone that's bust. 
whichever way that is, I don't mind whichever way that is, whether it's a broken phone or whether it is a problem that does occur. I would just like to know if other people are having that thing. And like, you know, and don't get me wrong here, you know, I'm not somebody who's got an axe to grind with Apple. I don't give a fly, sorry, I don't give a toss <laughs> as to what platform I'm on. So what, what, on a computer, for instance, whether that be PC or Mac, I don't care. Whether it's a phone, whether it's Android, or whether it's, you know, iOS, I don't care. I just want to use stuff where I can just, like, you know, make things with them. Because on the PC side of stuff, you know, yes, I do use PC and I don't use Mac, but that's only because the software that I use is only available on the, the Windows platform. If it were only available on the Mac platforms, I'd be using Mac. It's as simple as that. So I don't have an axe to grind here with Apple. But the one thing that, you know, you do have to, you know, admit about Apple is how much they try to change the rules. And as far as I'm concerned, they're trying to change the rules far too much now with cinematography and videography as well with what they're now trying to achieve within their phones and stuff as far as video and uh, sorry video and stills are concerned and if that's now going to start extending to like you know breaking formats for codecs and things and making them a little less reliable on anything that's not to do with apple then i think that's just pushing it a bit too far anyways yeah so let us know in the comments there if anyone's seen such things or or give me a good indication as to whether it might just be my phone and everybody else's phone is working perfectly anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now